Alright, I'm updating my video. We really didn't want to do that, but it seems everyone's doing it, so I feel like it's probably the best bet. So it's acting in Kaku now. Also, I'm going to put a poll on if people think I should update, and most people say I should, should, so... What the hell. The only thing I'll be missing is the ability to, um... View title IDs from the SGE shell, it's a really great feature of Rex, and Rex obviously won't work on it. Um, but, here we go. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, I know. Yep. Go. Alright. Here it goes. Copying the PSP to up that to UD0. Okay, verifying it. Guess I'll stop you from using DEX PSP to up that. <laughs> yeah, also, if you have a, um, if you have a Development kit, obviously it won't work, because it won't even be able to um, run the updater, it's all, it will require the retail update, any file, and if you somehow had the 3.65 dev kit update file, it wouldn't work, and I don't recommend trying to install it anyway, um, there's a reason why normal Enzo blocks you out of using it on the dev kit. Fine. Come on, verify. It's taking a while. All videos are sort of really quick, but mine is taking ages. I saw it update because I saw a whole bunch of really big people updating, even Celeste Bu updated, so. You know, I kind of don't like if I can't modify VSL anymore. <laughs> um, that was something I really loved being able to do was modify VSL and just mess with the system. But if I do it now, I could potentially require reinstalling, which is kind of sad. See you on the other side. Best regards to Fio. Now, one interesting though about this is it says firmware update. Normally, the update always says system update, but this one says firmware update, um, which I believe only happens if you have use if you have a development system such as a testing kit or a development kit, and you get it to run in GUI mode instead of QE mode. Um, then yeah you get this instead, which is pretty interesting. And it says install the firmware instead of the um, system software. And I remember I even had a video once where I managed to call the um, firmware updater that said firmware update instead of system update via a Yoli call. I managed to do that once, so pretty interesting. This is what you see. It's the um, GUI one versus firmware update instead of system update. And yeah, I guess there's no going back now.
friend is done. Let's hope it's not bricked. Oh shit, it's not turning on. It might be bricked. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was a bit worried though. But yep, seems to be brewing up just fine. Updating the database. Can't wait to pay NepNep Connect. It's gonna be great. Don't need my other Vita to pay anymore. And we've got a new PS4 Yank icon, so already it tells you on the new firmware. Head down system settings. System information 3.65 and 0. Alright, looks like I'm all good when it comes to updating. Just gotta update my um, no MPDRM and all these other plugins now. But yeah, it works.